Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford, and in this video, part of my uh, uh, fast takes, just short videos for the weekend about uh, uh, words in Old Norse that uh, aren't long enough to make a normal video installment, I'm going to talk about the word Viking, its meanings and possible origins. Now, in Old Norse, there are actually two words uh, that are similar to English Viking and that are the origin of that term. There is a feminine word, viking, which is used for the activity. So, for instance, a man is said to be all viking or all vikingu, using the older data form, if he is out on viking raids. And then there is the masculine term vikingur, meaning a man who does this, right? But it's notable that to call a man a viking is not a compliment in Old Norse itself. Uh, uh, runic inscriptions from the Viking Age, the positive term to call a man in a fighting occupation or raiding occupation is a drenger. To call a man a vikinger or viking is in fact uh, negative. It implies that he is, uh, it, it's more like our term pirate in terms of its negativity, even in Old Norse during the Viking Age. Now in later Old Icelandic literature, in writing the sagas, calling men vikings uh, becomes a little bit more positive because just like today, it becomes more associated with kind of the uh, the romance of that period. Much like how in uh, the Western United States, we romanticize the, uh, the, the, the bad men, uh, which of course aren't all bad, uh, the outlaws of the Old West, much like Doc Holliday in this grave right behind me. Now, what is the origin of the term? Uh, this has been debated for a long time. One of the oldest explanations is that it comes from Vik, which means a small bay or an inlet. Oslo, for instance, is along a Vik in southern Norway. Uh, so that's a possibility. So then the Vikinger would be the one who uh, is from the Vik, maybe, or it could be from uh, the feminine term originally, being, meaning a Viking as they travel along an inlet or a bay. There's also an old idea that uh, it comes from Vika, which means a sea mile, so thus someone who travels the sea miles. But I think the most plausible explanation, oh, there's a raven honking behind me, is uh, that it comes from the verb vikia. This was proposed by Bernard Mies. And vikia is used of many, uh, many uh, 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 motions of sea travel. So, uh, uh, like, like to move by sea, more or less, would be sort of a basic meaning of this verb. Um, and so then the Viking is just originally a sea voyage, and the Vikinger is originally just a sea voyager. It's not too different, I guess, from the explanation of it coming from Vika, sea mile. But the uh, vowel being long like it is in the word Viking makes it more, or Viking or Viking, makes it a little bit more plausible in my opinion. So if you want a little bit more information about how this word is actually used by the people to whom it's applied, people in the Viking Age, the Scandinavian pirates and, and seafarers, uh, see Judith Jesch's book, uh, ships and men in the late Viking Age. That's also a good explanation of the term uh, dranger. You can see how it's used in Scaldic poetry and written conscriptions from that time. Well, before my uh, phone falls off the snowman it's perched upon, I'm going to uh, end this quick take. And uh, from beautiful Colorado, I'm wishing you all the best. <laughs>